Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Two Drink Minimum. This is our 300th episode. Is it? Yeah, we're like the Spartans. Jesus. Yeah, we're fighting these fucking fat Persians. Uh, the man in front of me, the Leonidas of this group, Mike Ward. I don't remember that movie, so I have no references. I am the Leonidas. He goes around blowing dudes. I am Leonidas. You're a uh, Pantelis and our friend there. Also Xerxes. blows dudes. No, he's F.E. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Yo, I'm uh, the hunchback. Nice uh, glasses, by thank the you. way. <laughs> Very cool glasses. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate yeah. it. Is Elton John uh, asking for them back, or what's, what's going on? Oh, they are Elton John asking. You just... I hate you. You, yeah, yeah. Because you fucking ruined them for me. Yeah. <laughs> no, actually, Elton John's a legend. So. You homophobic. <laughs> he doesn't want because he paid for them. So now he's like, am I more homophobic or more cheap? Yeah. <laughs> How much were they? Three bills. Three bills. That's a lot. That's a lot. They're to gold look like a homosexual. <laughs> yeah. You could just walk around and do this, and it's the same price. Yeah, yeah but list, just be you. Yeah, but a lisp is free. Yeah, but you then can they'll, just go, hey. But then they'll know, but this is a way to tell people, like, I'm still in the closet. Okay. You know? yeah, <laughs> you're out. Yeah. You're out and about, my friend. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're so three, that That's a thing that, uh, th this is, uh, you're very much like that. Uh, like, I'm, I'm rich, but I'm, like, I wouldn't, I like your glasses, and I'd be like, I want those, and 300, I'd be like, I can get some. That look the same for ten yeah, online. Yeah. I'd get like the shitty knockoff version. Yeah. Well, I I bought I bought from Aldo the same style, but in brown. Okay. Um, with, for twenty bucks, and I'm like, yo, these look good on me, but they were plastic, so I'm like, yo, I'm gonna buy the real deal, because I had seen like these Cartier sunglasses. So what? But like, what prompted the real deal? The well, what's the difference between the real deal and well, the the fake ones? Well, these ones are gold. But the gold-plated ones look exactly the same. No, no, right? uh, no. Well, no. I'm, uh, yeah. <laughs> and those no, are probably the other ones gold-plated because no, if, the, if it if it was full gold, the other it'd ones be uh, like uh, two thousand. Well, they are gold-plated. They're okay. uh, twenty carats gold-plated, I think. But it's gold-plated. Yeah. He's good with money. They're dipped. Yeah. They're dipped in gold. Yeah. So they're dipped, You're dipped in, in gold. Shit. <laughs> yeah. They're dipped in gold. But the, the the other ones from Aldo were plastic. Okay. Yeah, and then are I, they real plastic or just <laughs> dipped in plastic? Because they get you sometimes. You yeah, buy fucking <laughs> plastic glasses, and then that motherfucker they dip them in plastic. Then the plastic peels off, and the inside is gold. Yeah, it, I, I hate it when they do that. Yeah. Those fuckers. They got me with these. Yeah. These aren't real plastic. Yeah. I thought they were real inside. plastic. It's all fucking gold. They're so heavy. They weigh fucking 19 pounds. God, that good. My neck hurts. That's why I take them off. I don't wear them because my neck. I'm, I'm becoming a hunchback because of my stupid fucking gold heavy plastic gold glasses. glasses. Yeah, no, they're all gold plated. Oh, they're not gonna just I'm throw. very weird that way though. Like about like yeah. glasses, I never buy expensive glasses. And other things, like I don't, I don't care about money. But for some reason, glasses, I think it's because I lose them and break them, yeah. like in a day. Yeah. So I'm like, like even in in Florida during the holidays, I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna get like real Ray Bans instead of my shitty fucking Amazon bands, and. uh I paid, I don't know, they were, they were on sale, but I paid like 150 or 200 and I lost them four days later. That's what always oh, happens. Oh, yeah. shit. I'm trying to be more careful because I always fuck up. Mm. The way I take them off and shit, I always break them. So uh, there's so much money wasted on sunglasses. Yeah. And when I buy cheap ones like these that I paid, I think, $10, I've had these for 11 years. Like the cheap ones, I never lose. They never break. And the ones that I'm like, I can't scratch them. In a day, I fucking... They fall in yeah. an open manhole. Yeah. Yeah. You ever lose anything down a drain, like in the street, like in a manhole? Never. I, I actually have a phobia about that. Like every time you I'm near... You <laughs> No, no, no. Not, not like about out of... a clown? You're afraid of the clown? No, no, no. Like every time there's like a drain... Everything like, floats yeah. down here like except for you. Even even like... Uh, even like... Uh, well, I'm naturally... Uh, I'm, I'm afraid of uh, heights. That's like okay. my only fear. Yeah. And like... Um, and like uh, every time I'm near, like that's why that's he's like the this. first time I hear someone that's afraid of a manhole because they're afraid of heights. No, no, no. But no. he's afraid of heights. So that's hold on. why he stays close. You're afraid that it you step on it, it flips, no, and then you fall down. I'm, hold on. Lows in I'm, life. I'm afraid of heights. So anything that's like open, that anything could fall through, uh, I'm very, I'm very Vaginas. cautious around. Like <laughs> depends who's. <laughs> so and when the, you finger a girl, you're like you, you hold on <laughs> to something. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
Hey, hey, Whoa. hey, hey, hey. <laughs> you call your friend, can you spot me? Yeah, I'm going to finger this. It's going to be like an American yeah. gods where the guy just goes into a yeah. fucking pussy. What's wrong? What do you mean, what's wrong, lady? I'm not going to fall in this gaping crevice. <laughs> I have a fear. It's a phobia. <laughs> you see, I'm wearing sunglasses for that reason. <laughs> the shine from that hole. <laughs> so, so every time, like even like my elevator in my building, uh, there's like a big gap, uh, uh, like to, when you enter, like right? Between. But Bet- you can't fall through that gap. It's not about falling. So I'm, I'm every time there's like you're afraid a hole, you're gonna drop like your wallet or something? my wallet something. So every time I'm near like a manhole, I'm like I tighten. Do you throw all your stuff in the elevator no. first <laughs> and then run <laughs> like Indiana Jones? <laughs> no, I, I put them in a bag. Okay. <laughs> like so, with someone going swimming, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, he, and he hops in yeah, your plastic pouch, <laughs> and he makes a sound. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he holds his nose. I put him in my bag. Uh, that's what I did when I was moving because I was afraid okay. I dropped my stuff down down the hole. I hate I, that. I fear. just threw everything. Yeah. I threw everything in the bag, and I made sure it was zipped properly. And I, even even like every every time I'd go over the elevator hole, like moving stuff into how, the building. How how what's the space? Is it like this this or oh that's all uh, like this yeah. Like a, a good three, four inches. Yeah. Fuck, that's a lot. Like this. That's so what his girlfriend said, too. <laughs> like a bottle, a bottle could fit. Through. Yeah. Yeah. T- that means your elevator is broken. Oh, no, just old. But it's not supposed <laughs> to, even though. That's a big gap. Yeah. Yeah, it's a big gap. Someone's cat could fall through. Yeah. It's true, eh? Imagine you bring your little dog and your <laughs> dog falls. I would have a heart attack. Yeah. 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 I don't know why I did this when I could have done that. I'm fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. retarded as shit. Oh, we how, know, how, we is know. how is it? How is it? It's like this. Is it? <laughs> like, so it's about three inches. Yeah. What do you mean? So one hand is here. Imagine another hand is yeah. three inches to either side of this. I'm picturing them going to like Canadian Tire trying to buy nails. I need a nail about about this long to go through something around this thick. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, are you okay? I'm okay. Are you okay? Ah, <laughs> oh, dude. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, I'm always afraid of elevators when when they're not when they stop and they're not even with the floor. Yo. Like when they're a little higher. I feel I like always, I'm gonna go in. It's gonna fall, and I'm gonna be cut yeah. in half. Yeah. Because I saw a thing once. I think it was on. The biography channel, because they air garbage that has nothing to do with biographies, about how, like, elevators, when they start fucking up before they actually fall, they just don't know exactly where, where to stop. What do you mean? They don't just all fall. No, That's not the they, they never life they never fall. But, yeah. you know, if like, the ones that do fall before they fall, they for, a, a, like, a good 10, 15 years, don't hit the floor at the right height. What causes them to fall? I would think it's like that the levy or whatever gets loose, gets loose, gets loose, and then it breaks, right? Yeah, I guess. I have no idea. I, I never think every every uh, every couple of uh, I don't know how what the time frame is, but they're supposed to get inspected on the regular. If you have elevators in your building and you own the building, I think it's the owner. Yeah, bro, you're telling us stupid yeah. shit that you don't have to oh, say. I'm sorry. Every yeah. like, you know, it's like guys, listen. If you if you live somewhere where there's winter. Uh, I don't know if you know this, but you have to change your tires yeah. every week, when, every, every winter. When the when it starts, you should change your tires to winter tires. Like, we know this. Uh, FYI, if you're going to drive someplace, you need gas. Get the fuck out of <laughs> here. Yeah. If you own the car. If you don't own the car, you don't put gas okay. in any car. Okay. But if you own it um, and you're going someplace, you put, put gas. gas? <laughs> That's fucking... You, you know, that would have saved me a lot of headaches. Yeah. How you told me sooner, Mike? <laughs> yeah. Piece of shit. Why do you keep this information to know. yourself? I'm, I'm, fuck, I like keeping secrets. What are you, Bohemian yeah. Grove? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the secret of my success. I, I don't tell anyone anything. How about the gas? I keep especially? all the information. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I keep walking into shit. Go today. on. <laughs> The only thing you don't walk into is manholes. Yeah. 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 And that's the only thing you're afraid of. <laughs> <laughs> but the actual danger is talking around us. I wonder well, what's be the over under. How many people have actually fallen into open sewers? Uh, Probably zero. No, there must be someone. Yeah. There, there are idiots out there. But like m- maximum, there's less than one person a year. Well, now with phones, I think it's higher. Because remember, like, because you're not looking. When I was little, I used to think, fuck, someone can lift it up and I'll it's fall heavy. through. But those things are, like, I remember a couple of times I tried lifting them and I wasn't able. There was some that I was able to in Park X, like all the, but 
the ones that you could, I think, is because they're loose. Okay. And you could, they have like the bars. But then they changed that now. And there's no more bars. Now it's a circular thing. And the only way to lift it, your fingers can't lift it. So you have to have a machine. Because I know they said if something, if you need to get in there, you could call the fire department. Okay. And they're supposed to be able to come and hook it and, and lift it up. And, okay. Because so the same as like when I'm, when I'm, whenever I was little and I'd see like poor American neighborhoods, uh, like black neighborhoods, they'd always have kids in front of like jumping through fire hydrants. So when I was little, I was like, fuck, there's a fire hydrant on my street. I'm going to grab my dad's tools. Oh, no. And, I'll, and I fucking worked like a n- fucking crazy person all day and I never got that it's, shit it's loose. I think ev- the thing that you need, we don't even have. I think yeah. like only fire uh, departments have that shit. Yeah. Firehouses. So uh, speaking of falling into manholes, uh, between we that. January 1st, f- 2015 and December 31st of 2020, only 3% of people involved in per- these preventable falls survived their injuries. But that doesn't say how many. So only 5, 3% survived. survived. Yeah, which means... Uh, yeah, and you die, bro, and if it's too deep. Yeah, 5,000... Plus the fi- Ninja Turtles. Yeah. <laughs> 5,568 people... Is it Donatello f- that's <laughs> fucking these <laughs> bastards up? Uh, uh, base, around 5,500 people fell. 5,500? In five in five years. So that's like 1,100 uh, a person that, a year. That's worldwide, right? Um, I think this is uh, Times of India. So in India. Oh, India. Okay, bro. Uh, that's India. different. Wow. <laughs> Somewhere I didn't pay else, attention bro. to... So, yeah. Okay, that doesn't count, bro. That doesn't yeah, count. Yeah, fucking a manhole yeah. in India. They're like, put straw on that. Yeah. <laughs> That'll keep the people out. <laughs> you have, okay, you're, are you done with your soup? I need the bowl. Yeah, Just yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, that doesn't count, bro. 5,500. Jesus Christ. That's, uh, that's amazing. That means, like, on the list of causes of death in India... Stupid falling in one a of them. <laughs> manhole <laughs> is in the top six. Yeah, <laughs> could you imagine about, about a thousand yearly uh, uh, in, 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 in 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 US? Okay, that's still a lot. But in India, because like uh, in in America, there's a lot of gun deaths. But in India, no one has guns, so there's probably more people that die falling in manholes yeah. than getting shot. Yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if they have like crazy people that break into like elementary schools and grab kids and throw them down manholes. <laughs> That's well, no, actually their sandy. Man, hook. Yeah, manhole <laughs> manhole crime is on the rise. They do have less firearm deaths than manhole. But of course, deaths. they're they're not a fire. <laughs> That's amazing. They're not. <laughs> they don't have firearms. I wonder if they're gonna it's make a dumb m- statistic though, because if you don't have yeah. it, you know what yeah. I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder if they're talking about making manholes illegal. <laughs> <laughs> and have people, other people going. We need more manholes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's amazing. Well, a lot of people are falling down manholes. What do we do? More manholes. <laughs> you know how you stop uh, these bad manhole deaths? Good manhole deaths. Yeah, every person should have their own manhole. <laughs> Criminals should be thrown in the manhole. Manholes don't kill. Yeah, yeah. We'll just change it. We'll try woman holes for a while. They're a little bit smaller. <laughs> Yeah, a manhole. It sounds so fucking gay. <laughs> yeah, a manhole. Yeah, <laughs> it sounds like like someone goes, "I fell, I fell, I fell in a manhole." It sounds like you you tripped and fell into some dude's or, or you you went on Pornhub and you started watching porn and then you, it's like a rabbit, like a gay rabbit <laughs> yeah, hole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching. I wrote the uh, manhole. <laughs> Lesbian, uh, I wrote lesbian chicks. I wanted two chicks and a guy, so I wrote bisexual. And then for so I fell in a manhole. Yeah. And then oh, it was all dicks all the time. I went down a manhole. That's amazing. It may have started someone in construction. His wife heard him on the phone. And he's like, yeah, man. And then I just yeah. went inside that manhole. It's like, what are you talking about? Oh, that, that's what it's called. The hole in the ground. Yeah. You mean the sewer? No, it's called yeah. a manhole because yeah. I'm a man. And, it's and I went in the Why hole. were you telling your friend you were going to lick that, that, <laughs> that sewer hole? <laughs> Just to see if there's any radiation. <laughs> we're checking for toxins. But you said you came inside the manhole. Yeah, I, ca- I, well, I came. Yeah, I, I went arrived. in. I went I, in. I, I came. I'm not good <laughs> at grammar. I'm not good at grammar. If I was good at grammar, I wouldn't be working construction. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good with my hands and my fingers and my mouth. <laughs> Mostly my mouth. <laughs> my cock sometimes too. <laughs> manhole. Oh, that's amazing. I wonder if porn company, like, do they have to reinvent themselves every couple of years? Because everything gets old, right? Like alcoholics, after a while, they get tired of certain drinks. <laughs> yeah. So doesn't, like, do porn companies have to, because they invented the, the porn uh, websites 
invented the thing that YouTube stole, apparently, where you could really? hover over a thumbnail and it shows you stuff. That was done in porn first. Really? Yeah, okay. I remember there was a video about it online. Oh, I didn't even know that. Yeah, That's porn, dope. porn. Is everything, it, everything good about any type of video is always from porn. Porn first. That's yeah. what I found out. Yeah. Like uh, one thing though, I don't like that I've been going through lately. I'm like in a nostalgic uh, era. Porno face? That I'm like today. I was like, I want to watch some porn, and then I, w- I was thinking. Of a porn star I I used to like in the early nineties. Who's seventy now? Yeah, she's she's in her fifties, <laughs> and but she had crazy tits back so, then. Back then, but like just f- like huge, like stupid tits. Like I googled her because she wasn't even on Pornhub. I had to Google, and they're just disgusting tits. They're like just fucking big God plastic damn. fake tits. And I'm not into that. It was neither am I, but you know, because to me it just seems too goofy. It seems yeah. too fake. Yeah. It's like a cartoon. But I, I was watching it like, uh, and it was just horrible because everything is in like three eighty, <laughs> so it's no definition. So you're squinting. Yeah. Oh, sp- speaking of tits, there's a trend on TikTok where women flash their tits in something reflective to get past the the not the algorithm the what's it called the um, the rules and regulations. The Chinese government. <laughs> so Chinese it's just, government doesn't like titties. There's just a bunch of broads just fucking going like pretending to clean their bathroom and in the the um, the faucet, the, the in, on the porcelain on the por- or on the porcelain or whatever. You see their tits. You clearly? see their tits clearly. We're talking nice tits. Like nice tits, and it just. Are you watching this? Allegedly. Well, obviously you brought it up, yeah. but can I tell you something? <laughs> Aren't there other sites where you can see the tits yeah. clearly? Yes, not but there's something exciting about seeing tits that you're not meant to see. Exactly. God damn. You become a Muslim man living <laughs> in Saudi Arabia. Well, because because you have everything accessible. Yeah. No, yeah. no, 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 no. It's ev- reflection tits. Yeah. Everything yeah. accessible becomes boring, yeah. right? So when you, when you add some excitement to it, yeah. you know, now it's like, yeah, well, did I catch how, a tit? That's how like all guys are when you go to a strip club. The the hottest chick is always the waitress. Yeah. Or the bartender. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like if it's a woman bartender, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The okay, hottest chick is the DJ. The hey. hottest chick is the manhole. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The manhole that's playing the music. <laughs> Coming to the stage now. Oh, that, that's my asshole. Too. That's my asshole. <laughs> Get your fingers out of my manhole. I would have loved. It's too late now. They won't they won't allow me. But like women have become. They're gonna know I'm fucking around. They won't let it happen. But I would have loved to be for one weekend a strip club DJ. I did that for oh. a day. Did I tell oh, you? Oh, I that? think that would be so fun to be like, yeah. now cover the stage, another dumb bit. What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I would have so much fun with it. When I when I first moved to Montreal and I wanted to become a comic, I was nervous about uh going on stage because I was like, I can't speak in public. But I was like, I, I was in a strip club and then I saw a thing that was written help wanted or I think I was walking down St. Catharines help wanted a DJ. So I walked in and I applied for the job and uh, the guy was like, yeah, uh, OK, do you want to start now? And I, I was like, OK. And uh, <laughs> the guy I asked him, I go, do, do I use do I use my real voice or do I use that fake DJ voice? And then, DJ, baby. and then he's like, what do you mean? And then I was like, oh, shit, he's got that voice all the time. So, what do you mean, sir? Yeah. <laughs> so then I come I, up to the DJ booth. <laughs> he was like, OK, I'll, I'll try you for one day. And then if you're good, I'll hire you. And I was horrible because I kept I, I wouldn't remember the girl's names. So I just make up any slutty sounding name. So I'd be like. Okay, uh, coming to the stage, uh, Cassandra. And then I'd have some dumb bitch going, it's candy. And I was like, "It's who cares? It doesn't matter. Yeah. And then I, had, <laughs> I know it's going to remember. I had customers, like regulars, because d- people that go to a strip club in the afternoon go there a lot. So oh, they, they fucking love these girls. They and know they, their names. And they know their names. And then I'd have guys coming up to me going, that wasn't cool. That you called uh, Candy Cassandra. It's actually uh, quite offensive. And I was like, okay. What? Yeah. I was a feminist myself. Yeah. I will tell you, sir. That was offensive. Yeah. <laughs> know her name. Yeah. <laughs> so I just did it for like, uh, uh, yeah, not even, I didn't even finish my shift. Because I had all these girls coming up to me. Because I was like, it's going to be amazing. I'll have these hot chicks that are half naked coming on to me. But they'd just come and start yelling at me. <laughs> I would love it for that. For the, now, it's like maybe when I was younger, I would get distracted because of all the tits. But now, being a grown ass man, I would have so much fucking fun with it. Yeah. Yo, yeah. 
Like, Don't you- worry, boys. We recently had her at the clinic. She's clean. <laughs> it's Sandy. I would fuck yeah. around so uh, much, bro. If only somebody would have fucking let me there's do it. A, there's a strip club DJ in Quebec City that got in trouble a couple of years For ago. Because like no, he he hid cameras in one of the about this. in one of the, uh, the I wouldn't booths. Do that. I wouldn't do and that. And he he'd uh, he'd always get the the if famous people came into the, the club to go in that he'd room. He'd get them like and famous people in Quebec City are, are like politicians and uh it's mostly politicians. Yeah. So he'd get politicians to go in, get a hand job, and then he'd have video on them and then he'd try to bribe them. Bribe him or like, extort, I, them? I extort them? Sorry, yeah. Because that would be funny. He's like, yeah. I have a video of you jerking off. What are you Here gonna do with it? Here is five thousand like dollars. An extra five thousand yeah. dollars. <laughs> what? I really like yeah. the video. <laughs> no, so so yeah, and then, and then he did that. I I don't know if it ever worked, but he did that to one guy, and the guy just told called the cops, and he was <laughs> like, I went to the strip club, and uh, this fucking guy filled me. And they were like, okay, let's that's arrest it. the guy. That's amazing. Oh, and he got arrested? He got yeah, arrested. And, <laughs> and they, they, <laughs> what closed, a they closed the club. Because they're like, you're fucking... You're, this is insane. You're oh. hiding cameras when there are naked women rubbing their fucking asses yeah. on these men that are all probably married or... Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Bro, do you think, in all honesty, because I didn't think about the regulars. I was thinking of the gag. Let's say non-regulars. Let's say it was a night. If you go to a strip club. And they would have, have allowed me, because they have a sense of humor, to be the DJ. Do you think, forget the strippers, let's assume that they'll have a sense of humor. Do you think there's people that would actually get mad at me with my jokes? Like, be like, oh, I they get, would. Uh, I, 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 I want to be horny, dude. I don't want to laugh. Like, do you think that yeah. would get that? I feel like if people knew about it, and it was the whole thing for the night. No, no, no they didn't know. I'm saying if they don't know about oh, it. Oh, they, they don't know? There, they're sitting there. and there's 100%. Like the 100% there's going to be a loser. There's Why a loser. would you get mad? Yeah. It's so funny. Because, uh, dude, come on. They're there. Like he said, they're there in the after. Like, uh, they're fucking, you know, what are you doing? What about at night? Where it'd be young people. Do you think oh, young people yeah, would at get? Night? At night, mm. they wouldn't get as mad. Yeah. I think day, day strip clubs, the guys that are there mean business. They're like, <laughs> okay, I haven't had a girlfriend. I haven't touched a tit. That I didn't pay for in the last 17 years, but I think fucking Candy wants me. She didn't tell me her real name yet. She doesn't want to tell me. <laughs> she says she doesn't have kids, but she has a fucking a lot of stretch marks and a bunch of uh, little boys coming to get lunch money. And you think if she's uh, on the stage, I'm now coming to the stage named after the thing that uh, tricked her to go in the van with the guy when she was young, Candy. No. You think? You think? I think. I think people. Will, I have, uh, and like, now coming to the stage, puppy. <laughs> Pet my puppy. They all have, they all have pedophile names. <laughs> and now, secret, secret, <laughs> coming to the stage. Now, coming to the stage. Don't tell anyone that she yeah. fucked Justin Trudeau. It's Cassandra. It's like, whoa, what the fuck, dude? Yeah, <laughs> that's amazing. There's, I would love to do that. I, I, I would, yeah. I would find that hilarious. I know, like at night, I, cause, yeah, at at night, I think people would laugh. Yeah. Yeah. In the day, though, there's something about a strip club in the day that's sad. But uh, it's the the people that are there all seem happy. They all seem depressed, but happy to be there. It's like eating chicken soup. It's like it's good for the. I like chicken for you, the soul. Like yeah, it's good soup. for the soul. You feel good. You're like, oh, my life isn't going that good. Her life isn't going that good either. She's we're here in the day. Where she's she's not hot enough to be at night. I don't have enough confidence to get out of the house <laughs> after six. So we're just gonna hang out. This, I never yeah. thought about it like that. I had one of my friends. I went to a strip club uh, uh, years ago. I was in Quebec City, and uh, I had a bunch of friends. It, I don't know if it was, it was a high school reunion or there were, I I saw a bunch of dudes from high school in a in a place. And uh, I, w- I was like, what are you guys doing in town? And they were like, Le- let's just go to a strip club. So I follow them to the strip club. We get there. And one of my friends that lives in that town, we walk into the strip club and every stripper knew him by name. Like every oh stripper. Oh, my God. They were, and they, they didn't call, his name was Wilson, but they called him Willie. They're like, hey, it's Willie, it's Will, hey, it's Big Will, and then and I they're was telling like, you stuff like, this guy yeah. got my kid through college. Yeah. <laughs> but he, like, every chick knew him, and he was like, he's a big proud, pimp. proud and ashamed at the same time, because he was like, he was like, I don't, I don't come here that often. 
I know, and I was like, "Hey, Will, third yeah. time in the same day? That's yeah. amazing!" I, I have a question. Wouldn't you give if you were that often, like in strip clubs or whatever? If you were, wouldn't you give like a fake name? If you're that often, you no. got used to it. I would mostly give. Uh, I, I would. I would request to have some kind of a members club reward card yeah. or something. I think too. Like if if like I should be a VIP. <laughs> Everyone knows me. If you're there that often, I think a lot of guys, and I'm I'm this way too. You know when you know a stripper's real name. How yeah. important you feel? You're like, fucking Cassandra told me her name is Nancy. I know Nancy. So you feel like, I know shit. So probably my friend was like, you felt like an insider. she knows my name, but I know her real name. Who gives a shit? I don't care at all. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I broke that veil when I was young. I remember 18, 19, we're at a strip yeah. club. And I even said that shit. So then I go, let me ask you, because you're just sitting there talking at the table. And I go, what, what's your fucking real name? And she's like, no, it is. I go, nobody's fucking yeah. being portion. What's your fucking No one name? cares. And then, and then <laughs> she sadly had said it. And yeah. everyone at the table was like, how did you know? What's the real name? I was like, I can't what? be this no much way. smarter than everyone at the table. Oh, everyone thought her name was Portia. But they were young. Or, yeah. They were young. Nobody, people, were, I, I caught yeah. on quick. I was like, this is, guys, this is, it's an elaborate show. Yeah. Yeah, but it's obvious that. No, it's obvious to you as an adult man. As a young, horny kid, you don't think you that think far. think so? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because I knew, like, when the first time I went to it, like, I knew it wasn't the real but name. But had you had any experience? Did you see anything on TV? Did you, you get it? You were more, the mm. older, the generation, like, you're a younger generation. You were more exposed to it on TV. Yeah. Mine was just the one before when it was scrambly shit on TV. It didn't even have porn accessible. I don't so we didn't know all that shit. We didn't have movies. We didn't, you know? If, like I, was a, if I was a stripper, I'd use a name that sounds kind of real. It's kind of sexy. Mm. Like, I wouldn't use a name like Candy. Or I'd use something like Vanessa. I would go on. If I was a stripper, mm. I'd Vanessa's be War Machine. A oh, yeah? <laughs> I'd go fucking crazy, bro. <laughs> yeah, Coming to the stage, Optimus Prime. Yeah, I'd go nuts. <laughs> I'd go fucking nuts. I'd go wild. <laughs> <laughs> or you use a name that sounds very masculine. Yeah. <laughs> You're like Steve. Yeah. Come to the stage, Humphrey Bogart, yeah. Tranny <laughs> Dave, <laughs> <laughs> Tranny Dave. <laughs> well, no, it's my name. Yeah. My fucking my father's uh, Czechoslovakian. Yeah. It's an old Czech name. <laughs> Czech you come to the stage. The Trans Canadian Highway. <laughs> it's like, what do you mean? I, I like to go on the road. I'm on the road a lot. That's why they call me yeah. that. Are you sure? Uh, no, I, I go all yeah. out, but I, I think I fuck around too much. That's why I, w I would never be able to. Yeah. Have something. I would have loved it when I was not not yeah. super young because I wouldn't have good lines. But at a good age where I was smart enough to come up with the quick lines, mm. that would be so much fun to be a DJ at a strip club. It must suck being a, a stripper in Quebec, though, because like customers are allowed grabbing and touching and poking. So you always have fucking strangers grabbing your pussy and your tits. You're allowed like when they're uh, dancing on stage? You're allowed if uh, no one catches you. <laughs> <laughs> pussy, you're not allowed. Yeah, I think you. If you have charisma, no, you're no, not no. allowed to do anything, really. If you tip well enough, though, you, you know. Oh yeah, so then yeah. he's saying it's consent. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But you're, I think, well, you're allowed grabbing tits. That I know. You're yes. allowed grabbing ass. But e that's everyone. That's everything, how I treat everything, the staff here. Everything yeah. but pussy. But I know if okay. you uh, if you tip enough, they'll let you do whatever you want. And how much is enough? I had like a couple hundred bucks. That's a lot. More Jesus. or less than your glasses. Yeah, uh, less. Well, at least. Oh yeah. shit! Can you trade your glasses? Yeah. For Be like this. Can I finger your manhole? <laughs> yeah. And oh, she, but when I mean anything, she's I mean like, like, sir, I saw your glasses. You're clearly a homosexual. You're in <laughs> the wrong club. <laughs> you put your hands down my pants. There's no penis, <laughs> so it's a loose loose. Yeah. I really don't want you to go. I don't want your fucking faggy glasses. You don't want to grab a pussy. <laughs> God damn! Oh, no, but a couple, a couple hundred bucks they turn into an escort, basically. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But everyone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But dude, it's so <laughs> fucking funny. Oh man, there's some fun about that. Did you ever have any friend? I never met anyone that was a D like a real DJ to do it for a while. I, there's oh. a, a. I think Massimo uh, actually did in Toronto. A, a comic in in French, Patrick Gru was a, a strip club. Did DJ. he have fun with it? Did he when fuck he around? was uh, he was in a, a strip club DJ in a gay club though. Did he have fun? No. I would have fun yeah. there too. He was. He said it was funny. He said it was funny, but he'd get and he was a strip club DJ in a in a gay bar in the like early nineties in the days when everyone was super homophobic. So he he'd uh, like he wasn't homophobic, but he'd be like, as Coming soon as to the stage, totally not yeah. gay, <laughs> ass cheeks McGee. Like, <laughs> but he said like a lot of times, customers when they found out he was a straight dude would. 
try to hit on him, oh, and then get he'd mad. get angry. He'd be like, "You fucking asshole! You fucking come near me, I'll fucking kill you." And then they were like, "Did they make jokes? What? This is turning me on even more? <laughs> no, no, I'm so I'm so excited. This fucking straight guy's gonna murder me." Was he playing it straight on the mic, or was he having fun with it? No, he was act- like he like I Coming guess to the stage. Yeah, he's not doing like a he wasn't doing like a gay voice, like going, "This guy's got a beautiful car." Oh, I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Gay bar doing that. I thought more no, of like. Coming to stage now, a real coxman, Dave. Yeah, like, I, just, <laughs> I never asked. I asked them though, because I, I like, I was like, was do guys? Because the way I pictured, because uh, I was, I went to uh, a guy strip club once with a with a bunch of girls when they had the two uh, two eighty one the deux quatre oh, yeah, But that's not a strip club area, wasn't that like a man burlesque? It, it's it? like a Chippendales type thing. And I remember the fucking women going like losing their shit, and the guys had come out. They were dressed as firemen or fucking cops or yeah, chicks love fires. Yeah, and they, but uh, so I asked them. I was like in a, in a gay bar. Uh, is it like that? And he was like, no, it's like in a, it's, it's like a, a straight bar. It's just, it's just guys like going on stage, dress normal, showing their dicks. And then other guys that are kind of pathetic, just staring at them. There's, he was like, there's something very sad. Whereas when it's a women in a, uh, uh, like a, a guy strip club, the women fucking lose their shit. I saw a woman. Like the the night I was there, the guy like pulled his dick out, and a woman was up close, and she just fucking put it in her mouth, and he pushed her away, and I was like, "What the fuck?" Yeah, like chicks if, are crazy. If I did God that, damn. if I was in a strip club and a chick like showed her vagina, and I was like, oh, oh I would God, get bro. murdered. Yeah, I they would yeah. murder me. Yeah. yeah, they they like they wouldn't even fucking. You're right to bring yeah. this double standard up, Mike. Yeah. I think we should take this to the highest court in the land. Yeah. <laughs> we need to put an end to this. Yeah. yeah. By the way, speaking of gay clubs. Oh, I don't want to get off it, though. I have a story. Okay. Uh, I, I mean gay strip clubs. My cousin. Oh. My cousin, when I was younger, uh, I haven't seen this guy. He moved to the States. I haven't seen him in years. He was, I know the story. It's in the family. It's pretty funny. He was uh, under 30 in his 20s. He was a good-looking man, chiseled. He got a job. Downtown. I don't know if it was 281, but at a, at a gay strip club. Okay. So my uncle. And he's a straight guy. Yeah, he's a straight guy. So my uncle finds out. No. Someone tells him. He's like, yeah, you know, your son. He's like, shut the fuck up. And he's like, no, no, he's there. So he went into the, the strip club while he was, his son was dancing, like grinding and going crazy on the, And he went on stage and it was a whole thing that broke out. He was grabbing him by the ear and the hair. And this <laughs> is an adult man. No! So I don't know what's happening. And he's, <laughs> he's Greek, so it's broken yeah. what he's saying. And he's trying to say that it's his son. And he's like, it's my daddy. You know, it was just, it was like a crazy, awful scene. It was a complete embarrassment. Yeah, That's amazing. Yeah, I was oh, told yeah. this. And, it may, and they, when they were telling to me, like, it was a sad day. It was, and I had just a big grin. I was like, this yeah. is fucking yeah. hilarious. <laughs> that must have been amazing to see like a, uh, uh, an older Greek immigrant just yelling fucking yeah. like broken English at this kid that's like, oh fucking, I've brought in shame on the family. Yeah, dude. It was, yeah. So he's like, this is, you know, he's like, you're cut, and they're trying to shame, like what they're telling, they're telling the story as if I'm going to be ashamed for him. And I was just, I was like, this is great. <laughs> this is fucking hilarious. By your pussy, come here. <laughs> yeah, and I was, it was bad, apparently. Uh, yeah. God damn. Yeah. It's funny. And that was one of the reasons why he moved away. What? Why? Yeah. The, the father or the, the son? son? The son. Okay. Uh, what did you do? What did I, I didn't do anything. I oh. was young. I was a kid. Who but told the you? father? Like uh, it's the same thing. Like when you told me about your friend that was in that that uh, porn sucking dick, <laughs> and the, then you were like, "Hey, uh, someone told me." But who who saw that? So th- uh, before we go to the because I don't know who told him. The I know that it was. Took? A f- I know, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm talking about. No, the porn, we'll get to it in a second. But the family friend, it wasn't my, it was an older guy that told him. But I remember telling my mom, asking my mom once, I go, did anybody like. Ask why ask he why the old guy and, and just you know in her head she's like looking at me and she's like oh, that's this a good, fucking that's good a good question, question. Yeah. Wait, what was the question because she how, how did because the guy that told my grandfather my my uncle the guy that told my uncle he was his age my uncle's age oh that is a very good yeah. question but he didn't he said matter of fact if you go there he's there right now all that shit yeah like that's too so and oh, not, so it's not like that's suspicious like yeah. if if you're walking in front of a gay strip club. And I see you walking in in the gay strip club, and I don't really know you. You might be a fucking a patron, a, a, uh, a bartender. You might be a, the repairman. Yeah, going in to fucking fix mm. fix a fridge. Yeah, and uh, but so, so but if the guy goes, he's there right now. That means he this knows his, yeah. what days, days he yeah, works. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Okay, he works from fucking eight to eight to eight to three in the morning, Monday to Friday. I'll do you one better. 
I wish I remembered his name. Family friend that I never met. This was before my time. My mom was telling me the story. Because uh, when they first moved here in Montreal, we lived on, uh, before I was even born on, and then when I was born, we still lived until I was like five, on Pine. Pine Avenue. Pine oh. close to Pine St. Dominic. Right there. Okay. So, and everything down here, you know, it was more booming. Like all the way down. Mm. So it wasn't as cracky, but it was still a lot of nightclubs and stuff. So there's a they they would go to clubs around here. This demographic here started to change. It started to become more and more gay. This and that. Okay. Mm. So a family friend, a Cretan guy, and Cretan guys are fucking like uh, they're like the Texans of Greece. They fucking mm. go crazy. So he's picking up what he thinks is a lady. Oh no! At a club, at a bar, whatever. And his friends are telling him. This is what my mom said. I go. Every, everyone that says the story, the Cretans, they go. They all told him, yeah, that's not a woman. He's like, you guys can't trick me. This is a fucking hot ass lady. I haven't seen a lady this hot ever. <laughs> no, bro. Takes him to the back, bro. Pulls out a huge cock. <laughs> no, the guy tried to stab him. No, oh, the Cretan tried to scratch. No, stab the. <laughs> oh my god, that's like the opposite of my story with my uncle, but where yeah. he almost got stabbed by. Oh uh, yeah, my he tried god, to stab him. there's something crazy though <laughs> about like uh, in in those days, like the. Uh, do you know the story? Do you do you know uh, Danny uh, B- uh, Bonaducci? That I, he, something. He was he was an actor in the Brady Bunch. I think it was the Brady Bunch. And then he he was a, a radio guy in uh, Vegas. Okay. And then he was front page news because he had picked up a hooker, and she started sucking his dick. And then uh, he tried to fuck her, and then he saw that she had a dick, so he beat the fuck out of her. He beat and and in, in those days they they weren't trans. They were like just dudes in a dress he beat the fuck out of this dude and then it became front page news but wouldn't like those guys kind of know like so there's a guy in park x don't say his name don't say his name that that had do you remember the story okay good uh just so it doesn't slip out because I, I we've said i've said this story on podcast and he, he i think he said it publicly too or it was, but i don't know if he said it publicly or if people keep saying it publicly for him so that's the only reason why i don't want to say his name but oh. i think he's cool with it but i still don't want to say his name um Anyways, I'll tell it you. It doesn't matter after. But you're going to remember when I tell you the story. So here's, but they're old. This is the older generation for me. Um, they were on Ontario Street. They were driving around trying to pick up hookers. And he picks up a hooker, takes back to, uh, takes her back. I don't know if it was to his house or they had rented a hotel town. I don't know, but they were all together, the guys. And he goes, I don't want sloppy second. I'm going to go first. And he started getting his dick sucked. And he started to realize as he was getting his dick sucked, he, he, pull, he was pulling off a wig. No. And it was a guy. But he realized too. He was already in. in he was getting yeah. sucked. He so was he, like, "I'm gonna come." He yelled in Greek while they were in the other room. He, he's like, "It's a dude." He in a peruca. Like she has a she has no. a wig. I think I heard about like, this. Yeah, yeah. Now you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like she has a wig. But he's like, "It was too late." I continued. I had to come. Like I was. Uh, no. I was already yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So they kept they kept calling him. They kept making fun of him for years after that. Like the fact that he continued. Yeah. He's like, "What? Well, it's already started." Yeah. So, yeah. So and for real, like I don't blame him. I don't blame him. It's just hilarious. Yeah. Because yeah. it, it, you've all like if you didn't want to have gay sex, you already had gay sex. Yeah. So but, not coming. You still had gay sex. Your yeah, friends are gonna tease you. Might as well, might as well yeah. get it. The yeah. stories about him—he was a le- like the stories about him were a legendary, like hilarious. He would, um, Pookie had the best story about him where he goes. They were walking in front of uh, Park Athena, and there was one of those like disgusting crackhead hookers. Oh, like, I know who you're talking about exactly. Now. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and, I know, and, I know. It's like, <laughs> it's just like uh, 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 fuck. I don't, it's gonna give it away. So I'll, 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 this is a made-up name. It's not his real name, but she's like Steve. And uh, the the buddy's like uh, Pookie. He's like, uh, or, or the guy was with him goes, like, I think she's calling you. He's like, I don't fucking know her, bro. I don't fucking know her. He's like, but she's saying your name. He's like, stay calm. We had fun last time. I'll let you in the back door this time. Yeah. He's like, I don't fucking know her, but I like it. He's like, but she's saying your name. <laughs> it was so this guy has like a long history of funny stories. Like it's like he he would always get into like degenerate situations, uh, yeah. and he's. He's the generation before me, so he's probably closer to your age. So he grew up in that era. So yeah. think about your era. So th- there Montreal. was no way of having like having sex with a with a dude <laughs> my generation. That was unacceptable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that kind of shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I had a friend that he had told us that he, when he went to Thailand, he didn't know about the, the ladyboy situation. The ladyboy situation, because in the old days, no one knew that. And then he went to Thailand, and he he came back, and he was like. I got a blowjob from this chick. She was kind of hot. And then uh, I, I I, tried to fuck her. And she didn't want to fuck. So he just got a blowjob. And then he realized 
the next day that it was a dude, but he, it, it was too late. And he, he just thought it was funny. Like, so he told everyone and no one fucked with him because we all thought it was funny. It too. was a mistake. Yeah. Cause he was like, yeah. I, I, fuck, I should have known. I should have known, but there was a guy that used to work out with Poseidon. And he said, Oh, yeah, that he, was the next person I was going to yeah, bring yeah, up. Dude, so because <laughs> he's like, he's like uh, dude, I always get, uh, always get hand jobs. I always go. I love getting massage uh, hand jobs. I love these massage parlors. And then and it was during the time when Poseidon loved to go to the hookers too. But then he was trying to like one up him. He's like, not like you, you fucking peasant here. I, my girlfriend lets me uh, to get them. So I go to Thailand, bro. And that's, and, uh, and then I was like, what? He's like, I go to Thailand. That's where I get, not like this guy who goes here locally. And I was like, yeah, but locally, he's like, this is known as a hooker town. Like, there's a lot of prostitutes, but yeah. they're female. Thailand is just a bunch of dudes. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, what? He's like, what are you talking about? No. I was like, well, I remember. Didn't know. Yeah, he was I just saying, he's like, that's not, that's not true. I go, that's fucking true. That's, no, no. You're just he, going to do that. Like, he, he knew. Remember the yeah, suspicious yeah, I felt like shit? He knew, yeah, because yeah, I was like, I was like, dude, I think you're just like, you're bragging for the wrong reasons. You're trying to yeah. one up him, but I believe he won up to you, sir. <laughs> do you remember the, the videos he would take where he was just chilling with a bunch of Indian do- oh, dudes? Oh, dude. And their shirts open. He's like, I made new friends. And, and, <laughs> and I was like, bro, all your videos come off as super gay. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. There's nothing gay about me meeting cool Indian dudes, bro. We started yeah, a gang yeah. together. And I was like, so it's like, why are you all with shirtless? Indians and with no shirts on? In Thailand, yeah. And I was like, why are you all shirtless? And you're all like touching. You're like, yeah, we're all cool dudes. I had a guy tell me. Like, I'm a cool dude. I don't touch dudes and be like, we're cool dudes. I had a guy tell me that uh, uh, there were a lot of Indian dudes that went to Thailand to bang lady boys. And he said it's because he goes, uh, and, and this was an Indian guy, so it's not me being racist, it's him. He was like, my people are very cheap. So it's cheaper, it's cheaper to fuck a, a lady boy than to fuck a, a woman. And yeah. I was like, God damn, that's being tight with money. That's being tight they, with money, not with assholes. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> but I like the economics of it. But the friend that we were talking about last time who uh, was in a tranny porn video, and it was fat. I I got the link. I saw it. Yeah. You saw it. Yeah, it, you it was, sent it, was, it to it, me. Yeah, it was real. You sent it but to me. I yeah. said the exact same thing as you. I go, hey, let me I'm happy you, you didn't watch that video to the end or else you would have seen me. Yeah, <laughs> but, yeah it was a compilation. Yeah. It was a compilation. It's funny because when I found out, they didn't want to tell me. So if they had known for like a year, and they're like, "We can't tell you. You're gonna blow up. You, you might." <laughs> they thought you were gonna fuck with them. No, no. They thought first of all, I wouldn't be able to handle, like the laughter might kill me. Yeah. And they were scared that I would publicly. But I'm not gonna shame. Yeah. I don't give a shit. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not. Yeah. I'm, I'm not ashamed of the guy. I'm not mad at him. But I. It's just so random because the acting in it is so bad yeah. too. It's like, whoa, is that a is that a dick? Like all that. Yeah. But well, I what thought I, when they told me it was fake. What I loved though about that video when you sent it to me. Is he's wearing sunglasses and a hat, <laughs> thinking no one's gonna recognize me. I got a dick in my mouth, but they're not gonna know it's me. I'm wearing a toque. Why would I? Why? Whenever they see me, I don't have a hat on. Now I have a toque on. I'm not a toque guy. <laughs> the, the, the way it happened was funny because he showed me, and I, I'm at my buddy's house, and I'm freaking out. I'm crying, laughing. Like, this is insane. This is insane. And then I, I stop. I go, "How did you guys find out about this?" <laughs> yeah. And then, and then my buddy's like. Oh, it was, it was, and he says, uh, you yeah, know, yeah, 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 and then I'm like, how did he know? How did he know? Yeah. He's like, he saw it on, on the site. He found it on YouPorn. And I was like, yeah, yeah, again, again, this is, <laughs> yeah. this is just uh, chicks with dicks videos. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, he's like, a girlfriend. Like a lot of people just like chicks. And he's like, and uh, Alex goes to me, he's like, stop asking questions. Goes, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember. I had a guy tell me once, <clears throat> uh, when, uh, you know, Pornhub was in co- uh, trouble a couple of years ago and he was saying, there's so much fucking kitty porn. On Pornhub, you're always you're landing on, on you're kitty like, porn. Never and I was like, I've what? never seen anything that even remotely looks like kitty porn. So if you're seeing a bunch of kitty porn. What are you typing on, in? F- you, porn, or you porn or Pornhub, what the fuck are you searching for? I, I didn't know there was kitty porn until the scandal. Yeah, no, neither did I. But yeah. he, How upset he, were you when you found yeah. out? That I was upset because I didn't exactly. I could have went and back fucking. I watched. wasted so many years. I had to yeah. fucking illegally download, bro. You know what kind of hoops I had to jump through when it was right in front of me the whole time, bro. <laughs> I set yeah. hard drives on fire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the tranny thing was fucking hilarious. That was fucking funny. Uh, Just oh, is that a dick? <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> terrible acting. But uh, going. <laughs> oh, I did a thing because you you said that uh, you always watch your your Pornhub on the incognito mode yes. or whatever. So the other day I did that, and I there's so many fucking people in Canada are bisexual because every fucking like the my incognito mode 
was that there were like fucking like three or four movies of guys sucking dicks. Really? Yeah. When you suck a dick, you're a gay man. Yeah. I, I, but you, it's funny that you say because recently I've gone uh, the the I was like going through the videos like hot videos in Canada and one of them was like a, a dude sucking a, a, a lady a lady boy's dick. I was like, what the fuck is this? Yeah. What is this doing in a hot? And so I just search whatever People I want. People are becoming yeah. more experimental. Yeah. I guess. Everyone, the thing I, I I've wanna... never been into guys, and you can't get me to get into guys. It's not in me. I don't have the urge. You know, people are curious. They do stuff. Yeah. They've been curious I'm about a, dudes. I hate men. I want to write a. <laughs> I'm with the feminists. <laughs> I want to write a bit about this. I'm pretty sure like all young guys are are bisexual now. A little now? bisexual. Everyone seems a little a little gay to me. I don't know. I understand why you're saying that. Like the the young ones. Like, I I, uh, no, they seem a little feminine, but I don't think everyone's bi. I think it's just like it's always been. Just, there's always people who are bisexual, people but they who are hit straight, it. people who are gay. But back in the day where people were mean, they'd beat the yeah. shit out of you. So that's but that's all I think it is. They scared the gay out of me. <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> like, the police scared the gay out of me. That's but. all I think it is. I think now because we're more accepting and nobody... Cause the yeah. truth is, most people don't give a fuck. Whenever yeah. I hear, whenever I hear people talk about uh, experimental stage, I was like, "Fuck!" They didn't know my friends in high school. If I never had an experimental stage, but if I did, my friends would have beaten <laughs> the fuck out of me. Yeah, like we we were like like a, it's not right, but we were very homophobic. Yeah, when then. I yeah. when I look back now, yeah, I may have gotten stabbed if I'd done anything. Yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah, they got, but then again, I don't know. They would have probably. Nah, they fun. probably wouldn't have cared. But I, I feel like they would have. No, they would have cared. Me, they would have cared, but it wouldn't have been. It would have been like just yeah. like look at this fag. But then we yeah. still would have been friends. Yeah, because I, I wasn't that early. The generation yeah. before me would have beat the shit out of them. Yeah, I felt bad. Like, uh, I think I told you this already, but the first gay guy I ever met. Or that was openly gay, and he wasn't even openly gay at the time. Was a uh, John Saint Godard, the yeah. Montreal comic. I didn't know he was gay when I met him, and we used to write together, me, him, and this other guy. And I used to always fucking like tell gay jokes that I'd heard, <laughs> and I'd be like, and then the fucking fag, and then I'd always, I'd always have, I'd be like, you should have seen this guy, and he was talking about some fucking fag, <laughs> and then the other guy one time we're at John's house, and then John goes to the bathroom, and he's like, you do realize that John is gay, right? And I was like, you don't talk like that about my friend. I was like, <laughs> no, but I was like, what? No, he's not. No, he's not gay. He's not. He can't be gay because in my mind, like. Gay was fucking Elton John or yeah. the village people. And I was like, no, he's not gay. And he's like, he's fucking 31 and he's got a 50-year-old roommate. Like, of course he's gay. No, he's friendly. Yeah, and I was like, no, <laughs> he's just, he's not good with money and he needs a fucking place to live. <laughs> and they, they have a fucking four-bedroom house with just one bed. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I never, <laughs> like, I love gay jokes like me, but I never gave a fuck. Like, I never, it was never. No, nah, neither did I. I was never like, I can't be. Fr like, but I, never, I always I loved gay jokes. I yeah, still love too. gay jokes. Oh, still, but yeah. I don't know why I never had an issue with it. Yeah. Uh, like, I never I gave a fuck. I think, well, most, like, uh, like, straight guys that hate gay people are always gay. Maybe it's that. Yeah. yeah. Like, uh, whenever you see guys that are like, these fucking fags, let's go beat up fags, you want to beat them up. Because you, you want to try to fuck them. You em. secretly want to suck their dicks. I think it might be that. Yeah. Because so I you're can't... like, why are you keeping me from, from Jesus <laughs> you, with your <laughs> beautiful <laughs> cock, you fucking <laughs> sexy bastard? Yeah, I think it yeah. must be that, because I can't, I can't put myself in a mindset where that would be the deal breaker for me. Yeah. Like, I, like you know... Oh, this guy's so cool. He's funny on stage, but he's gay. Like, I can't. Yeah. Yeah. Who cares? Yeah, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Man, that's not what's going to bother. Now, if he's a communist, different fucking story. Yeah, well, well communists are. If fucking he's a stage. communist, I want to suck his cock. <laughs> I want to suck his, his I'm communist not, cock. I'm gay <laughs> for <laughs> communism. The big CC. <laughs> it is. That's not, I wonder if my uh, the friend that we're talking about, uh, I don't think it's public. Like, I think the which, few people that one? caught it, because the other guy was looking at trans porn, uh, the, the, oh, the yeah, guy yeah, in the yeah. video. I don't know if he's doing. Do you think he's like made a career of it? He's doing other videos, or he? Oh, oh no! The, but the guy doing the transport thing. But, yeah. but we know he was like fucked up. He no, was, didn't you tell me that yeah. uh, someone had tricked him and they were like, "This is the way you get your foot in the door." Yeah, that's of, what they. Uh, porno yeah, yeah. but that's what they told me. But, but then we had another friend tell us like he saw him around and he wasn't doing too well like psychologically. 
Oh, I remember that. Yeah, it was. Uh, I, yeah. Imagine though, if you're like, because if he was only sucking dicks in uh, porno movies, thinking, okay, at first I suck dicks, and then the hot chicks are gonna show up, and they never show up, and they never show up. Why <laughs> would you get a guy with a toque sucking cocks? <laughs> to bang the hot ladies. Yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> yeah, but the, you know how fucking sad you must be after you're like, I suck fucking eighteen cocks. Tricked into for sucking nothing. dick. Tricked into sucking dick once is shame on you. <laughs> but tricked tricked into sucking dicks <laughs> twice, shame on me. Holy fuck, yeah. that must be hard to handle. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, he wasn't doing too well psychologically. That's uh, what they say. I can't remember that. I feel bad. Yeah. He's a, he's a, yeah. He's and apparently his nice. family found out too or some shit. Because uh, oh, if, if you're into yeah. that, that, it's a good job, right? Yeah, but yeah, yeah. if you're into if, it, if yeah, you're into fuck, it. by all but means. Yeah. So if you're not. If, there's nothing sadder, though. Whenever I hear, like, I watched a documentary about porn a couple of years ago, and apparently, like, porno stars, like, the gay porn stars that are gay for pay, like, straight guys that, that do gay stuff for money, they get paid, like, a million times more. But you know how rough that must be mentally if you're not gay at all, but you're accepting money to have sex with dudes? That must fuck with you. For like, sure. Like, later on, you must be like, God damn. You feel raped. Yeah. Well, it's yeah, like yeah. it's like escorts. Yeah, escorts well, like, too. They can't do that for too long. That'll, that'll fuck them up like mentally as well. No, some some if if they like uh, unless they have pimps that treat them like shit. But yeah, ch uh, chicks that run their own business. Our friends, I fine. I think they can do yeah, it. A yeah, long I guess time. you're right. Yeah. I think they can do she it. She was a long shocked time. that one night when you were trying to bang her, but after that, <laughs> she's yeah. fine. Well, she I a, think <laughs> too. Like I think uh, for for escorts and I, I like. The way I see it, and I, I'm, I'm a fucking idiot that doesn't know what he's talking about. But if you're, if you're giving blowjobs for like fifty bucks, that's a rough life. But if you're ha having sex with dudes for like a thousand, and you're mm. traveling, that must be, that must, that's not a bad job if you like having sex. If you and like, you yeah. like traveling, you like meeting people. Anything is good if you're not being forced. Yeah, and if you're not disgusted, like I'm, I get. Easily disgusted. Me too. So if I had to have sex with people for money, as soon as I'd get someone that wasn't hot, I'd be like, Ugh, this I is quit. fucking... Or like f like finger banging a chick that smells weird, I'd be like, oh God, I'm going back to college. But you don't have to do that <laughs> yeah. shit, no? Can't, can't they say no? But you can't... Like if you're, if you're an escort... And, and like, you can tell someone, uh, like, you can make it flirty and go, hey, how about we wash? Like, let's take a <laughs> bath. That, that's what they do, well, right? Well, in, in, in um, massage parlors, it's mandatory to, to, to have, a, they have showers or in the this? massage you want so you, in every room. In a like when it's you mandatory. They tell you shower before. I'm so that, give them a that's tip. how you know that it, it's a rub and tug place is if you shower first. Sorry? That's how you know that it's a it's like a they're they're uh, they're gonna jerk you off. Is no, it? you could I think oh. like even if you're at the spa hotels and stuff, you shower first too. Because like you go well, to the spa I guess, I've yeah. only gotten massages in real places and they never told me to shower. They're well, I, nice. I I think maybe like massage places like legit ones, it's sous entendu and everyone kind of does it. But I guess a the clientele they get at like you know brothels. Yeah, I I don't. But know? and when I got a massage, I wasn't like I'm sorry, I was lifting weights after yeah, yeah, a fucking exactly. eighteen hour shift at yeah. the fucking <laughs> the what factory. they should do if they don't want to bang is what you said. But you go like let's role play, get out of the door, and I'm gonna bring you back in. Mm. You can play the role of a doctor, and then he goes out, and you just lock the door. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like I'm not doing this. So wh where is the shower? You walk into a, uh, the rub and tug place. Oh, is it next the to the... Oh, no. Every room has, has a shower. shower. Has its own shower, yeah. That's kind of... That's actually innovative. So cool. does yeah. the chick watch you, uh, wash you or watch you take a shower? No, no, no. Or no. you just go in so no. some fucking guy can just turn the water so, on? No, so the way it works is basically... Because uh, that would be fucking weird, bro, if I'm washing and you're just staring at me. You walk in yeah. and basically... Uh, uh, the chicks come in and you get to choose one and whichever one you choose tells you okay uh, I'm gonna give you five to ten minutes I'll be back in five to ten minutes you know I have a shower beforehand uh, I'm gonna this, do my taxes the, the, there's that and then they leave is that a problem can I <laughs> can I do whatever I want in those ten minutes if I shower quick enough can I just I gotta do my taxes send out some tweets <laughs> and then they leave and then they come back and uh, they'll see if you had showered do they, do they I've asked you this before but yeah. I keep forgetting do they give you an actual real massage first or they no. just suck your dick oh well the, 
Some of them will give you a massage. Like it's not even like it's. They're I just. Thought, they're just I, doing. I would argue. I, I, would I argue. thought a, a happy ending place was a real you massage. got the real massage, and then at the end they they These jerked you off. Look, so, so in you Montreal, don't need to take a in shower. Montreal, I learned from him. There are different places. Okay. And different cities do things differently. Yeah. Okay. So not everything is the same. So there's no. So me and you, we're educated from the TV. So we see mostly American stuff. Yeah. Which so is, they massage you, and, and then, then at the end you want. Yeah. yeah. In New York, Whereas the him, Asian he, lady, she actually gave me a massage, okay. and then she finished me off with her hand. With her hand, yeah. Okay. And and uh, it would be more impressive if she finished it, uh, him off with her feet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or nunchuck or something. Well, if you're into that, you pay extra. Oh really? Uh, yeah, for real. What? Yeah, you don't know. Finishing you off with nunchucks? No, no, with her, <laughs> with your, with their feet. If you're into like feet stuff, get the fuck out of here! Of course, they'll do anything if you throw money at them. Yeah, but not everyone is good with their feet. Don't you have to be like? Uh, yeah, like yeah but like these broads, bro, they, they improvise. You got the chimp. You need the chimp toes. But yeah. dudes who aren't into feet just come. I think just from like the 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 sensation of the feet and seeing the feet drift yeah. them off. <laughs> I was never. I'm. I'm not into. I'm not into foot. These people hang out in the park, bro. They look for sandals. That type of shit. I'm when you not. We see a guy jerking off in the park. He's not looking up. He's looking down. I'm not into foot porn or yeah. or like I I like a girl's feet doesn't turn me on. But with VR porn, the foot stuff I really like. Why? I don't know why. Cause it it, it feels real. Cause they what? like. I've watched a couple videos and then. You get the chick's feet coming towards you, and you're like, you oh, Jesus, him? fucking, why, why is this fucking <laughs> stupid whore putting her feet in my face? And that turned me on for some reason. There's some me being disgusted. <laughs> 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 me going, oh, this is disgusting. Oh, this is good. <laughs> Don't kick me in the face. Well, because you yeah. can't actually smell them, too. Maybe, yeah. maybe yeah, there's probably. that. Maybe there's that. Yeah. Meh. Meh. You said uh, you want to talk about your birthday? Um, oh, but I was going to say like a fun fact about men, but it doesn't matter. Uh, well, well, what's your fun fact? So the reason why men are, are more effeminate nowadays apparently is because society has gotten too soft. So they've done experiments with pigs, right? They take pigs and you know how pigs in the farm. This is like before or after the pigs are uh, recording the view. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> you know what I mean? If a farm animal pigs. Ah, what's the difference, right? <laughs> we're getting sued. <laughs> So they they took pigs basically in uh, and farm gave houses. them an easy life. Give them and a fucking no, no, nice they're in Chesterfield. No, but they're in the farm, so they're, okay. they're, it's an easy life for the pig. It's fed. It a have farm to... is an easy life. Are they they working on yes. look at them. So hold on, they have a nice life. We give them fucking so grains and then fucking so kibble, <laughs> and then we murder them. Yeah, but they don't know they, they don't know they're gonna get murdered. Yeah, that's you know. So the, to them, that's the easy life, right? So they get all fat and shit, and uh, they yeah. don't have much hair. But then the same pigs they on their take. Face. And they put, put them in in the in a forest. They put them yeah. in the wild, and they turn into boars. They get all hairy. The fat turns into muscle. They grow tusks. So the theory is, I don't I think that's boars true. Are boars and yeah. pigs no, are pigs. no, 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 no. It's the same animal. It's pigs, the same. Pigs, yes. really? don't, pigs don't grow fucking tusks. Just yes, they by do. Living in the fucking forest. Are you sure? No, no. But they, they eventually, because there's something in our After brain. After eleven generations. Or, or no, right no, no. away, you put no, a pig no, out. You're like, "Where's my pig? He's outside." It's not Goddamn, right away. Now he's it's hairy. not right <laughs> away. No, no, it's not right away. It'll happen after. Like, I don't know what's the lifespan of a pig, but it'll happen within his life. Like within his life, okay. it'll happen. He'll, He'll grow turn hair. into a boar. Yes, slowly. Oh, that's insane. Maybe not exactly like as aggressive as a boar, but he'll get become. More oh, boar like and have Does that more work for humans? Like I've no body hair, so if I lived in the forest so for a month, the whole theory is to work like that. the whole theory is is we have uh, in our amygdala. I forgot the thing in our brain. The mandula amygdala. The, the amandula, whatever the fuck it's I called. I prefer in the brain. his term, the yeah. amygdala. <laughs> uh, we have like in the gobble gobble gobble. So gobble. we have in the chick chick. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded like to quote <laughs> to quote my friend who's a turkey. <laughs> so there's right behind you. <laughs> so there's something in our brain that secretes kind of like a stress hormone. Okay. So if we don't go through enough stress in our you lives, you become soft. You become soft, and the, your manly features, well, the chest hair, the the oh, triceps. That's why my life is too easy. That's don't, why I'm, don't, I'm no. so fucking feminine. Don't so grow a vagina. Yeah, no. Jesus. Fuck. No, they don't. They don't come in enough. Is that why my right? one of my testicles turned into and, a fucking pussy? <laughs> and they even did the comparison with uh, 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 schools. Like when they had events, they had uh, kids that went to like uh, upper echelon schools. So you're saying uh, school shootings are making kids tougher? 
Yes. They're turning into real men. <laughs> the <laughs> Sandy Hook survivors <laughs> are real men. This is an interesting take. Yeah. No, no, but they've compared. Not like these fucking fags <laughs> that have never been shot at. <laughs> <laughs> fucking <laughs> Yale pussies. <laughs> but they've compared students that went to like private uh, uh, schools, yeah. private high schools in uh, like, uh, you know, like uh, rich neighborhoods. And then they compared them. They had like events where like uh, high school kids that went to inner city schools. They looked more manly. They had their beards okay. coming. They Black were taller. Hair. Yeah. They were, no, yeah. not just. <laughs> but in general, they were. They yeah. looked tougher. They had any, their muscular like, frame. They joined the gangs. It's the same. Like you know how boxers. Uh, if your dad was a boxer, chances are you will be a good boxer. But if your dad was a champion, you're going to be a garbage boxer. Because like really? Mike Tyson's kids the are pampered. rich as fuck. So you uh, need to be poor. Only poor people need fight. to know how to fight. Yeah. If yeah. you're if you're upper middle class, you don't fucking fight. Yeah. Like I grew up poor. When I was little, I knew how to fight. I don't know how to fight anymore. I don't need to fight. Like you yeah. you need to fight when you're poor. Well, yeah, that's that's what they're yeah. saying is is poverty is actually a good thing. It's a good thing. Well, not that good. <laughs> I, I prefer to be rich <laughs> no. and not, not, not know Give how to me, fight. Because I don't know, I'll help you out. Because you want to be poor, I no, don't. No, I don't want to be poor Give me either. all your money <laughs> whenever it comes ah, in. Fuck. And you live without it, and I'll be good, you'll be good. No, no, I don't want to. That's why it's so hard Like for, for fighters to, like UFC guys that are coming up, and you become champion because you're so fucking hungry. Well, you want McGregor. it so much. And yeah, fucking Conor McGregor. Even though now he's fucking, he's built like a fuck. He's this goddamn white. But he, he'll never be good again because his life is too easy. Mm. Yeah, like you, you can't be that rich, and you're you're not that tough anymore. Because yeah, you're, you're hungry still coming tougher up. than I am. But yeah, because you're, you're, you're hungry coming yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, you're hungry going down as well. <laughs> yeah, I'm always hungry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> But so the, I don't know or for real. Can you find out about the pigs turning into boars? Like the same generation. That doesn't pig, seem. It doesn't right, seem. Yeah. But it would be so cool if it's true. But if that's true, that means that we could just, like, tr- like evolution is super fast. So we could be like, okay, we if we put this chicken in water in forty eight days, it's going to be a dolphin. <laughs> so <laughs> they don't technically revert back to original boars. It's like I said. Which are that's not what you which, said, not what you which said are the at ancestors all. of domestic pigs, but they do lose their domestication and adapt to the wild very quickly, like around but six months. That's grow not hair. what you said. You said they grew well, hair and had everybody tusks. adapts. They, they to, do. They do. Yeah, Look. it's like someone that lives in the street, a homeless guy. He, yeah, he adapts, adapts to being to, homeless. They're called feral. But he pigs. doesn't become. A, he yeah, doesn't, no, feral pigs like feral cats. It's not a different species. He doesn't become. It means he's feral. Like a homeless guy doesn't yeah. become a it's skyscraper because he lives outside. I I grew up a man. Now I'm a tree. Because I live in a park. <laughs> oh. I'm a park bench. <laughs> no, but, I'm t- but they grow, they actually, they, they grow tusks. and uh, they, Yeah, they it will not. grow tusks, thick hair, and become more aggressive. Yeah, it's exactly what I said. No, no read from the beginning, bro. Yeah. All okay. this okay. Although the domestic pig, that, as we know I it, see it's uh, mybosstools.com. <laughs> Yeah. I go fuck yourself. Jesus. No, but it's right. true. But it just because of the way. look. Although the domestic pig, as we know it today, uh, took hundreds of years to breed, just a few months in the wild is enough to make a domestic pig turn feral. It okay, feral, yeah, I don't think you know what But feral hold on, means. let me let me finish. I hundred percent agree with the feral thing. Let me finish. But the tusks let me finish. seems like fake news. It will grow tusks, thick hair, and become more aggressive. Okay, but of course it'll. Like it'll become guy. more aggressive because it's fucking yeah. poor and angry. But you guys and are choosing to ignore the part where I'm saying it will grow tusks and thick hair. I don't believe the tusks. I don't thing. believe the tusks. And I'll tell you why. Because there's you know those those pigs that live in the wild. You know those beaches that those chicks yeah. go swim at in the Bahamas, and they're just chilling. Yeah, and they're in the wild. Like I'm that that's like like if I lived in in the forest, I'd be tougher than I am now. Yeah, but I wouldn't grow like my teeth wouldn't change. Yeah, exactly. Maybe my my not even my kids' teeth, but maybe in like forty generations of living a garbage life in the in the forest, my ancestors like my 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 great 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 grandkids would yeah, have. They grow mini tusks. Mini tusks. Yeah. Mini, mini. Boars, boars have them. They're really like protruding, and they look. Yeah, fucking they're t- actual tusks. Yeah. These guys just have teeth. No, they have these little tiny tusks. They grow out. They don't become. They don't become full on like aggressive boar tusks from the wild. But they they actually start. They to become come little farm tusks. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is just uh, yeah. fucking people. Scientists have tested shit. this. 
I what mean, scientists? What scientists? And what was the test? Yeah. How do they you don't, test that? That's just scientists or sci- it's not a scientist. I'm a scientist. What are you doing? I put a pig in the forest. Yeah, it's just being <laughs> and lazy. And we gotta find him. His teeth and, are long. We're gonna and call they're them like, tusks. look, he's got he's got <laughs> hair now. I don't think th- I, yeah. I don't think that's our pig. I think that's a wild <laughs> boar. It's our pig. He's got hair and teeth. No, but they, they it's like how they tag sharks. Yeah. Like they tag him, you know. Yeah, no, yeah, this may, yeah, it just seems like they're it's just playing with words. Like, yeah. well, they're not real tusks. They got yeah. long teeth. They, it just, yeah. No, but those are tu- they're coming. They're, they're tusks. Yeah, they're, they're just but not it's as like big the, as like a, a, a feral cat. If you let your cat outside yeah. after six months, it's a tough ass cat. If yeah, it's still course. alive. Yeah, but that's what happens. But it's not when a tiger. It tusks. But it's not. It's not. No, it's, obviously, it's not, not a mountain lion. No, yeah. but it, yeah. Anyways, it's not. Yeah, so so uh, you were t- you wanted to talk about was it your birthday? Oh, it was my girl's birthday. Okay, so she got you a nice pair of glasses. And uh, how no, old? No. Is she's uh, sixteen now. Uh, f- uh, fifteen actually. Fifteen. All right. And uh, I uh, I spent the whole day with her. Uh, and she's not. She's twenty four. Right? Yeah, she's twenty four. Uh, yeah, yeah, just uh, <laughs> the with the glasses. <laughs> just want to make sure. Oh wait, I, we should also test the pig theory out. We should leave him in a forest. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. <laughs> yeah, bastard. Uh, I th- I spent the whole day with her. She was very happy. Took her shopping. But that was her three days with her. No, that was her birthday no, no. present. You spent the day with her. Uh, I spent the day with yeah, her. I took her, I took her shopping. But before I took her shopping, I took her to this really nice place an hour away, Taco Bell. You Good. brought her to a Taco brought Bell. Brought her to a Taco Bell, like a real gentleman. Like a a real Taco Bell, or like a shitty Quebec Taco no. Bell that's half KFC. No, a real Taco Bell. Those are closed. They're no longer. It's just oh, KFC really? now. Yeah. Okay. So I brought her to a real Taco Bell. Where? I, I, in Ontario? Ontario, an hour away. Like, uh, like, uh, so you drove to another province <laughs> hey. to buy budget Mexican food? <laughs> hey, 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 Mike, romance. Yeah. Romance in the trailer park is different than what we yeah. live here. Yeah. You don't fucking judge it. Let yeah. it continue. Yeah. And was she the one that said, I want to yeah, I I live out. how... Uh, no, no. Kid Rock uh, would live if he wasn't rich and famous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making it seem like it was my idea. It was her idea, but she it's her only. It's the only uh, she dislikes all fast food, uh, except for Taco Bell. Except for Taco Bell, she loves Taco okay. Bell. She's like, you know, for my birthday because she only has like once or twice a year. Like, you know, what, take me there and then take me shopping, and we had a good time. That was okay. a good day for her fast Where, food flow, you, man. <laughs> where'd you bring her shopping? Did you bring her to Dollarama okay. or to the pharmacy? <laughs> Baby, you can have anything you want. Yeah. But only one. Huh? Only one. Yeah, look. <laughs> I'm not made of money. I had to buy these fucking glasses. <laughs> and Dollarama, that's fucking, it's a fake name. Everything's $2 now. Yeah. So they fucking, Inflation, babe. So you can have half of anything you want. Yeah. You pay half, I'll pay the other. Oh, how much are people those goddamn burritos? <laughs> uh, <laughs> what did she have at Taco Bell? Uh, well, we, but you know what I noticed? I want to talk about this. I noticed, you know what Taco Bell is? Fucking tastes amazing. I will admit this. When you have it. Food tastes amazing. When you have it. But the thing is, if you're done and you wait a bit and if you're still hungry, you have the same exact food. Cold? No. Warm. As it came out. Well, it can't be as it came out because you just waited. No, 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 no. You wait. And you wait and for you it order to again. come out of you? No, no. You, no, you wait and you order okay. again. So if you're still hungry, you order again. It's a weird fat okay. man scenario, but go on. It is actually pretty disgusting. But... When you first taste it, it's like, oh my god, this is amazing. And then if you have yeah, the same food, any food, if you're if you're full, isn't as good anymore. Yeah. No, if you're not full, I said. Because I had uh, we had like tacos and burritos and shit, and, and it like, was delicious. And, and it was delicious. And then I was still hungry. And then I ordered two more tacos. I was like, this is this is not that good. It's the same way you react yeah. to come. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's the same thing. Hey, it's not gay if it's only one time, bro. <laughs> Which I loved. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but the second time, the second time, not I was like, this is gay, bro. <laughs> it's disgusting. <laughs> and I'm convinced it's the same thing with all fast food. I'm I'm convinced it's the same with any food. Yeah. Like you could not have pizza. the I best. I think you steak. weren't hungry again. You thought you, you were hungry because so? that's all yeah. you do. You just always eat. And yeah. like, mm, I think I ate the too The only much. thing that's good once you're kind of full is sweets. That's yeah. why dessert. That's why people for dessert have cake. They don't have a fucking burrito. <laughs> <laughs> That's a thing my dog does that I think is really cute. I started buying him uh, raw dog food, and he loves it. And uh, my cat is jealous of him, so I give <laughs> a bit to my cat and a lot to my dog. So my dog eats his raw food, and then my cat just licks it and then fucks off. So once my dog is done, 
He's looking at me and he wants more food. And then he goes to the cat's bowl and he eats it like it's dessert. And he loves that food even more. Because he feels like, I'm not supposed to have this. I'm stealing this from this fucking dummy. Oh, this yeah, is yeah. extra. Yeah, yeah. He fucking loves it. Fucking dogs yeah. are hilarious. Dude, there's, uh, the, I, I was obsessed with videos for a minute. Um, you no longer like videos? No, no. With certain types of videos of, uh, of uh, dogs. There was one video in particular of a uh, Rottweiler drooling. And I swear to God... This dog eats better than most people. It was like a fucking, like fucking Michelin star restaurant for this dog. So they basically they they get all these recipes online and they'll add like a raw chicken leg. Then they'll add a bone of this or a bone of that. And then that sounds liver. delicious. And yeah. then they add like, like I love all my chicken raw. <laughs> I fucking raw chicken. Yeah. God damn. He then, eats better than most people. This dog <laughs> he eats more better than most people. If you consider that uh, most people live in the third world. Yeah, and don't want to be food poisoned. <laughs> and they'll even add like uh, spices that are made for dogs. Like specially made for dogs But it's like really expensive To feed your dog this way And I loved watching these videos Wait, well, Can I ask a question They're so happy you after said that But do we know what that means What does that it's mean It's basically how you put like salt No no I know But what are these spices That are only for dogs oh, I have no clue bro It sounds fake It yeah. sounds like they're just adding sauce They're act- sauce. It's adding like basil and stuff. Like, These are rare only for dogs From what Maybe. the dog tree <laughs> Yeah <laughs> The fuck are you talking about Maybe bro I Like don't know. your dog eats really well You you My actually dog eats real cook food for your Every dog. Day. Do you put any spices? Or? Sometimes, but rarely. But and because dogs don't like spices. No, sometimes, but uh, not spicy. Like yeah. if there's like a good thing to put on, like we'll put garlic, on greens, that kind of stuff. Okay, yeah. but, but you don't put like uh, like uh, garlic uh, pepper, no, or garlic not, salt, or no, whatever. No, we don't want to fuck with, with yeah. her stomach. But she eats well. She eats yeah. she, like actual cooked food. Like you, I could eat it; it would be the same thing. Okay, yeah. But have you seen the difference of how happy those dogs are? Like right after eating all that, like raw good food. No, my, I don't give her raw anymore. I cook for her. She eats like <laughs> real food. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> but apparently they prefer it raw. Well, like big dogs at no, least. No, uh, I had given mine raw for a while. We were getting raw. Mm-hmm. But I noticed her stomach, the way she was shitting, uh, it took a while. But she, she is a little dog. Yeah. yeah. And then she wasn't super into it. She, she wasn't excited to eat it. Yeah. No, but like big my dogs. My dog is like that. Like every time I get him something new that's really good, the first three days he fucking loves it. And then after, like, he, he, like, I'd have to do what you do. Like, just change it up, like, yeah. every day. I think I might start cooking his raw it's food. Fun. Yeah, It's fun to cook it. And then also eggs. My dog loves it. Sometimes for breakfast, she'll have an omelet. Oh, eggs okay. are very good for them. I'll eggs make scrambled, uh, uh, scrambled, uh, scrambled eggs. Do, uh, do dogs, this is a dumb question, but can do they get uh, cholesterol? Like, sure. uh so like high cholesterol, but that's a fucking myth, bro. It is. It is a myth about eggs, a myth. dude. You know who cholesterol out? doesn't exist? No, no, it does. Okay. The eggs thing. They, okay. they were telling people yeah. that for a while. Eggs is eggs. Actual good eggs. You get organic eggs are fucking amazing for you. Yes. For the longest time, there was so much shit they lied to us about. They they pushed us towards sugar yeah. and they pushed us to all this garbage shit that they were telling us. Eat this, the zero uh, sugar, the zero fat thing, whatever. Fat, good fats are actually good for you. They they led us down the wrong fucking path, and and that's why America's fucking. Uh, obese mm. They let everybody Down the wrong fucking yeah. path Eggs are super good for you Even the Because yeah, for a while They were saying uh, Egg whites are really good uh, The, the yolk, yolk is, the yolk you, is you could eat the whole okay. thing Yeah You could eat the whole thing it's yeah, Like they're high in cholesterol How about the shell Can I still suck on the shell uh, If like you I blend it do. Some people okay. blend it And they some sprinkle actually, it Yeah, yeah. yeah. What the fuck Jesus. I don't do that I don't like shells Well it's, it's very rich in calcium that so is good for someone the that seems That's like obsessed. it's someone's immigrant mother. Yeah. that wanted to save money, and she's like, "I'm not <laughs> gonna spend money on this fun waste food." <laughs> I, I've never, I've never seen myself people liking shells. Like I don't like shells. I don't but like what do you do? You. you put them like in a blender, yeah. and then it, then it's like yeah, it, tur- it turns into dust basically. Yeah, That's and then it w- what does it taste like? Nothing basically. Like no, they sprinkle asshole. it like salt, and it's uh, it's good. It adds calcium to your meal. Does or it taste like something? No, or? apparently it tastes like nothing. Okay, probably doesn't taste. But eggs are awesome. Awesome. Yeah. I love eggs. Yeah, yeah dudes. And, and like, uh, it's a superfood. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> but it's true. I hate that fucking term. I hate that super term. Me too. It bothers me so much. No food is superfood. It super puts food. on a cape. It yeah. stops crimes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but that's the eggs in my neighborhood have prevented four yeah. rapes. <laughs> like, go fuck yourself. It's, super <laughs> food. it's a superfood. <laughs> it's a superfood like Christopher Reeve with Superman after he fell off a fucking horse. Yeah. And are you Googling egg superfood? Because the first time I heard superfood was for kale. And I think they only said the kale was a superfood because it tastes like fucking garbage. Yeah, it's disgusting. But so, eggs are awesome. So the the it's a good way to trick people into eating shit that's disgusting. Yeah. If you go, it's a superfood. But eggs taste good. So why would you trick well, because people? Because they have they have the reason why it's called a, a superfood is uh, because they have most of the vitamins that we need. 
Okay. Most. So you can get just by eating eggs. How many vitamins are in there? Um, hold on. Like there's three? Uh, let's see. I had read up about this a while ago. Um, fuck, I got to find a proper... Vitamin C. Yeah. Min. Preach um, hates eggs. Yeah, but I'm he's with disgusted by eggs. He's but I kind of get it because like I could <coughs> only eat, like I like scrambled eggs, but only at home. I don't like other people's eggs. I find it disgusting. Okay. And uh, also, I can't do what Poseidon does. You know when he gets at the gas stations when we're on tour, the, yeah. the, the sandwiches that reek. I can't. I don't like yeah. those. Yeah. So I have a. But those aren't actually good for you. No, no, I know, no, but they're all yeah. disgusting. Because it's all station. mayonnaise. Yeah, and it's all uh, salt, so it could stay yeah. preserved for a while. So it's it's just it's bad for your fucking system. So they have omega. They're omega three. Uh, like fish. Uh, they're only seventy seven calories with five grams of fat and six grams of protein. Yeah, no, they're very good yeah. with all nine essential but those, amino acids. N- so none of those are vitamins except for omega. Well, well, like, well, there's a bunch of vitamins. I'm getting to the vitamins. Sixty six calories. You got 66 vitamins right there. <laughs> They're rich in iron, phosphorus. You got omega-3, that's three more. Selenium, iron. vitamins A, B12, B2, and B5, among others, okay. they say. So there are more vitamins. About 113 milligrams of uh, choli- choline. I don't know what that is, though. Uh, very important. That's nutri- one of Dolly Parton's best songs. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's important Colleen, for the brain. Choline, choline, <laughs> scrambled all of sunny side of. It's, for the, it's good for the brain, apparently. Okay. God yeah, damn. eggs are good for the brain. Yeah, Greeks have been saying that for a while. Yeah, eggs are good for you. Yeah. Also good for you, uh, vegetables. Yes. Gr- uh, the earth vegetables. As opposed to the sky <laughs> they vegetables. They even have a... Wait for him to say something, <laughs> but he didn't say anything. Wait, what? Uh, no, it's okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I thought if I... I thought you were going to be like, yeah, yeah, bro, the tree ones aren't that good. <laughs> well, yeah, I thought about it, but I was reading. I know, you, <laughs> you should have said anything. <laughs> I was going to start arguing about oranges. <laughs> That's tomato, fruit or veggie? Uh, fruit. Oh fuck! I, I know it's a fruit, but it tastes like a vegetable. It's a legume. Mm. <laughs> You're gonna piss me off. <laughs> Adam, fruit or vegetable? <laughs> it's tomato or fruit. Tomatoes are fruits that are considered vegetables by nutritionists. <laughs> How annoying is that? But yeah. How annoying is that sentence? Hold on, it's very are annoying. Considered. But, yeah. But so, what would you if on Jeopardy? If that was the question. Wouldn't you argue it if you lost? It's because of the way it grows. Uh, that's what I'm saying. It grows like a oh, they're, they're such yeah. bastards. Yeah. But it's a vegetable. It's actually a vegetable. Thing. It's no? actually no. It's actually no, no. a fruit, but it tastes like a vegetable. That's the thing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's like uh, peanuts uh, are are a vegetable. I think since they grow uh, like a potato. How do peanuts grow? I never peanuts thought about are, that. Peanuts are, yeah, you have to dig them up. They grow in the oh, ground. I didn't yeah, know that. Yeah, true. other nuts grow in trees, but peanuts, you have to fucking dig them out like potatoes. Oh, this nut grew up in yeah. Parkex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, listen, Poseidon, I don't care about your stuff anymore because if you're tired of just being at home and not doing anything, let me tell you what you should do with your life. Go to MikeWard.ca. There are links there. One of the links to his Patreon, patreon.com slash Suzekut, because Mike Ward has the number one French language comedy podcast on the planet, Mike Ward, Suzekut. And I'm going to be on tour worldwide. We got 13 dates in Europe, in Canada, and Quebec. So it's not worldwide. But it's like six countries. That's most of the world. Yeah, most that's, of the world. That's most of the world yeah. that can speak and listen to podcasts. Exactly. Uh, so it's going to even be in Ontario. So yeah. Suze Good is going international, We're, baby. Yeah. Ont- Catch up. Patreon.com slash Suze Good. Get the entire back catalog of episodes. Watch it live on Sundays from here directly. The Bordel, Bordel 2 to be specific. MikeWord.ca. Pantelescomedy.com for all of my stuff. Patreon.com slash Pantelis. We've got all kinds of shows on my network. We've got fucking the Pantelis podcast. We've got Comfort Zone and the Intellectuals. Comfort Zone, brand new show. A lot of fun, Mike. Oh, they, they did belly yeah. stank. They smelled his belly. There's a lot of cool shit happening on that show. Um, also, check out Poseidon online. The Poseidon 69 Twitter and Instagram. And I am Poseidon is his website. I am Poseidon.com. I am not. He is. He is Poseidon. Thank you all and go fuck yourselves.